Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. Woo! We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Hello, folks, and welcome into the Missoula Prep Sports Network's coverage of Missoula Mavericks baseball. It is the Missoula Mavericks taking on, hosting, I should say, the Billings Scarlets game two of a three-game stand against the Scarlets at home yesterday and tonight. The Mavericks getting the win last night. And now they'll have game two. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting lineups for today's game. Starting off with the Scarlets. Christian Michelson is in center field leading off for Billings. Brooks Rohrer is the second baseman batting second. Batting third is Andy Larson on the five Valley Door pitcher's mound. Colby Kimmett is the first baseman, batting fourth. Batting fifth is Jason Jaron Wilcox, the catcher. Michael Zasky is in right field. He is batting six. Batting seventh is Caden Dooler. He is the shortstop in left field. It's Logan Meyer. He's the eighth batter and finishing out the order is Nate Dewar. For the Mavericks, it is Dane Frazier on the five Valley Valley pitchers mount. First pitch is on its way over the plate for strike one and our first pitch is at 4.59. We've got 81 degrees as this one's taken down the third base line. Stensrud will block it in front of him. The runner will reach off of a very good hit ball. Second baseman number seven, Brooke Rohrer. So a hit by Michelson will put a runner on at first to start the game. Dane Frazier now sets for Brooks Rohr. And Rohr will foul this one down the first baseline out of play for strike one. So for the Mavericks, their order, Brendan Hill in center field leaning things off. Dane Frazier on the five Valley to pitcher's mound, batting second. Batting third is the catcher, Trad Richardson. Bridger Johnson's in left field batting fourth. Batting fifth is Stuart Long, the shortstop, as the throw to first is made. Drew Stensrud's batting sixth. He's at third base. We just called him out. Thomas Martin in right field, batting seventh. Zach Hangis holding down first, batting eighth. And it's Dayton Bay as Frazier will tag the batter to put runners at first and second to start the game for the Scarlets. The and Dayton Bay at second. So Andy Larson at the plate with no outs. Runners at first and second. Frazier wanting the pitch from Richardson. Frazier now with the set. And an outside pitch will bring up ball one. So for your defensive set on the infield for the Mavericks, as Frazier will deliver, this one's bounced down the line. Hangus will block it in front of him and have the tag. Runners will advance to second and third, and there is one out. First base number 12, Colby Takes us to Colby Kimmett now. With one out, runners at second and third. Top of the first. Here's the set by Frazier. And this one's hit right into the glove of Stuart Long. The line drive will be the second out of the inning. Catcher number 24, Jaron Wilcox. We go to Jaron Wilcox now with two outs and runners at second and third for the Scarlets. Wilcox settling in, he's the catcher. 
He had a good game last night against the Mavericks. He was behind the plate as this one's fouled back at us. Four strike one. So the Mavericks with a doubleheader against the Scarlets. We are in the top of the first of the first game. Second game will be about 20, 25 minutes after this one finishes up. And then it's a road trip to Helena tomorrow night. As ball one is brought up to make it one and one on the count. Here's the pitch by Frazier. And a pop over first base. Bay's coming in for it. Bay calls for it, and Bay is not able to put it in the glove. One runner will score, and two will score. As Wilcox will move to second. Rank fielder number five, Michael Dapke. So the error earns two runs for the Scarlets, and the Scarlets get on the board first. Two zero. So that goes to Michael Zaski, who fouls one off for strike one. And a foul ball takes us to strike two, 0 and 2 on the count. Scarlet's getting on the board first, 2 0. Off the air by Bay. Wilcox standing at second. Here's the pitch. And it's over the plate. The strikeout will end the side. Three straight pitches to Zaski will end the inning. 2-0. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Warning, warning. Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning, warning. This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the first inning, the Scarlets get on the board first. 2-0 off a two-run error. And so now the Mavericks will have their chance to bat. It's Brendan Hill to lead off. Dane Frazier on deck and Trad Richardson in the hole. The Mo Mavericks move to 10-1 and one in conference play with their win last night over the car the scarlets i almost said cardinals but that's the other billings team at the a level so brennan hill steps to the plate for the mavericks for his first at bat of the game Hill stepping in. Andy Larson with the first pitch and he'll deliver. Ball one. Pitch takes us to ball two, two and oh. So 
So Hill settling in, top of the order, center fielder. He is one of the home run club as we get ball three to Hill. Utility player for the Mavericks. He can be plugged in just about anywhere. And the pitcher over the plate comes to strike one, three and one on the count. Mainly hangs out in center field, but is part of the pitching staff and then fills in at shortstop when need be. Full count at three and two as Hill takes the first five pitches. Dane Frazier in the on-deck circle. Here's Larson with the payoff pitch. And Hill rolls this one past the first baseman. It's going to be deep down the right field line. Hill grabs the gear at first. On his way to second as the throw is made. And Brendan Hill will stand up at second to start off for the Mavericks. Way to go, Brendan. Pitcher number seven, Dane Frazier. So Dane Frazier now with Hill at second. Larson leans in to get the pitch, now steps off. Larson now checking Hill. And here's a pop into right field. Right fielders trying to get there. It's the second baseman will come in and it's a foul ball to bring up strike one. New life. Drive one, Dave. Find a hole. Raise your sides, kid. <laughs> oh one one. So Dane Frazier on the five Valley Pitchers Mound for the Mavericks tonight in the number two spot. He leads the team in home runs this year with three. Glenn Welsh, our plate umpire. Seth Kitchen in the field. And here's one that will stay. Nope, that is foul as Welsh will call it. Looked like that one was bouncing right there, but Glenn Welsh calling it foul. So 0 and 2 on the count. Larson now, and Frazier back down the first baseline with the foul ball. We stay at 0 and 2. But Dane silently leading the team this year for Frazier. 45 games, 181 at bats, second on the team. As we'll take. Ball one now. But Frazier leading the team in hits, RBIs, singles, doubles, and triples, as well as walks, as this one's fouled off. Seventy-four hits. 54 RBIs, 52 singles, 18 doubles, 7 triples, 50 walks. Second on the team in stolen bases with 16. Second on the team with runs with 53. So 1 and 2 for Frazier. He'll take a swing. Another foul ball. Stretching out Larson's pitch count right here in the first inning. Zero out. It's a runner at second. Scarlet's lead 2-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Pitch on the way, and it's a strikeout. With Frazier looking for the first out of the inning. We come to Trad Richardson now with one out, one on. Bottom of the first. Uh, 
tale of two evenings last night. It was like mid-April here at Limburg Craig Field as this one's lifted into center field. Michelson is there, and that's two away. Hill tags. The throw is made, and Hill will stand at third with two outs now. The left fielder number 10, Bridger Gunson. So we go to Bridger Johnson, one of two birthday boys for the Mavericks. As this one's upstairs for ball one to Johnson. Johnson sharing a birthday today along with Caden. Caden Jordan recovering from his Knee injury. Talk to him in Rapid City as we get another pitch upstairs for ball two, two and zero. Oh. He said he's close to being ready to play. He wants to be ready to play, but you know, with those knee injuries, it is uh, you got to take care of it. Here's a foul ball. Take us to strike one, two and one on the count. Johnson being one of those. Guys coming up to this double A level and having an impact. He's been in the outfield as he'll take a swing for strike two and we go even it on the count at two apiece. Two outs, Brennan Hill at third, bottom of the first. Here's Larson's 19th pitch of the inning. And it's to strike out Johnson. Maverick, no runs. Mavericks will leave one behind, no runs earned, and we go to the top of the second. Scarlets holding on to their 2-0 lead. Back after this on the Missoula Pub Sports Network. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. The Missoula Prep Sports Network is Missoula's home for high school sports, and we need your help. MPSN is looking for local businesses to help us cover our local high school athletes by advertising their business on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you know of a business that would be interested in helping the Missoula Prep Sports Network in our coverage of high school sports in the Missoula area, drop us a line by using the Contact Us link at mpsn406.com. MPSN, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the second inning, Billing Scarlets lead the Missoula Mavericks 2-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. For the Scarlets, it is the bottom of the order, 7-8-9 batters due up on the inning. Dane Frazier stands on the five Valley Order pitcher's mound. For the Mavericks as Caden Dooler comes to the plate. So Dooler, Meyer, and Dewar for the Scarlets. Here's Frazier's first pitch of the inning, and he'll deliver over the plate for strike one. Frazier, last pitching duty was back in Rapid City against post 22. As this one's just off the plate for ball one, one and one. Glenn Welsh, our plate umpire, calling balls and strikes. Mm -hmm. Here's the pitch and a foul ball. We'll put Frazier in the lead on the count at one and two. Upstairs pitch delivers two and two. But Frazier would get beat up by the offici officiating staff in my book that evening. And a swing. Strikes out the batter. One out, nobody on. Left fielder number three, Logan Meyer. 
We bring up Logan Meyer now. Here's the pitch by Frazier. And Meyer will foul this one into the dugout on the third baseline for strike one. Frazier delivers. Richardson blocks. Ball one, one and one on the count. Frazier now with the pitch. And a bouncer. Stensrud will pick this one up. A throw to first. Hangus is on the bag, and there's two away. Third baseman number 13, Nate Stewart. We come to Nate Dewar now, bottom of the order for the Scarlets with two outs, nobody on, top of the second. <laughs> Frazier with the pitch and a foul ball will start us out with strike one. But taking a look at Dane, Six and three overall. As this one swung on to bring up strike two. As a pitcher, 11 games, eight of those started. 43 and a third innings pitched. As a foul ball, will keep us at 0 and 2. Fifty four hits, thirty six runs, twenty six of those earned, as this one will be rolled out to Stuart Long, the throw to second or throw to first, and that is one, two, three for the Scarlets. Bottom of the second right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Prep Sports Network as we are at the bottom of the second inning here at Limburg Craig Field. The Billing Scarlets, Missoula Mavericks. Scarlets leading 2-0 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Stuart Long, the young man that ended the inning for the Scarlets, will lead off for the Mavericks. So we're looking at five, six, seven batters long at the plate. Stensrud on deck and Thomas Martin in the hole. Andy Larson with the first pitch of the inning and Stewie will send it foul back at us. Long settling in. And he'll let this one come up for ball one. Even count at one apiece. Here's Larson with the stretch and set. And a pitch outside. Takes us two and one on the count. So for the Mavericks from today until the 22nd of July, it's all about conference play. There is a couple of days off in there, but for the most part, the Mavericks will be in play 
just about every day from today until the 22nd. Three and one. Here's the pitch by Larson. And it's a walk for the Mavericks to start the inning. We go to Drew Stensrud now for the Mavericks. One on and no outs. Mavericks were able to put a runner on in the top or in the bottom of the first inning with a Brendan Hill double. Stensrud now settling in. Larson with the pitch upstairs. Brings up ball one. So the Mavericks hosting the Scarlets tonight, a double header. Then it's a trip to Helena tomorrow night, a single seven inning game. As Larson will have the pitch, brings up ball two, two and oh. First pitch from Helena is at 5 p.m. tomorrow night. And then it's a trip for to Great Falls for three games. Friday, 7 p.m. And then Saturday is a double header. Well, first pitch for the first game is one. Monday is off and then, or I mean Sunday is off. Monday and Tuesday is Medicine Hat. And the Medicine Hat will be a three game stand as we get ball three now. To Stensrud. And Larson gets into the count with strike one, three and one. Wednesday is a home game against the Bozeman Bucks. Mavericks will have Thursday and Friday off as Stensrud is walked to put runners at first and second. And that'll bring out the pitching coach for the Scarlets. So that takes us to the 20th, the Saturday the 20th, and that is the Mavericks' last league road trip as they go to Lethbridge. And that'll be a Saturday, Sunday, Monday setup for the Mavericks. One or three games in Lethbridge. And then the final regular season game, it's non-conference, is the 24th against Helena in Helena. That'll be nine innings. And then, folks, that Friday is the state tournament. So we are just three weeks away from the Legion State Tournament, double A in Billings. As Thomas Martin settles in with runners at first and second, pitch over the plate will bring up strike one to Martin. Stuart Long at second and Drew Stensrud at first. Zero outs on the board. Here's the 0-1 to Martin and he's gonna pop this one foul. Four strike two, 0 oh and two. The AA state tournament will be in Billings, hosted by the Royals and then the Bitterroot Bucks are hosting the A tournament. If you're in the Missoula, or I mean in the Florence area, the 27th through the 31st, or in Billings. Come and check out some Legion baseball as we get ball one, one and two to Thomas Martin. The on-deck circle has Zach Hangus in it for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch, and that'll bring us to ball two, two and two. Martin settling back in. He's in right field tonight. A young man that battled for that second base position has a foul ball. Will keep us at two and two. Larson in two innings is at 34 pitches, 18 over the plate. He'll lean in to get the pitch from Wilcox and now the stretch and set. 
And another foul ball. Keeps Martin going. Dayton Bay bringing out baseballs for Glen Welsh, our umpire. Long takes his lead at second. Stensrud out at first. Here's the 2-2 by Larson. And Martin will keep it rolling with the foul ball. Two and two. No outs. Bottom of the second. Scarlet's leading. 2-0 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Here's the stretch and set by Larson. And we go to a full count at three and two. The Elks chasing the top spot, Lethbridge. Mavericks will be there the 20th. Well, they picked up two wins yesterday in their march to the top. They're sitting in the number three spot as this one's fouled off. And the Billings Royals would pick up the win today. 2-0 over Lethbridge. So their march halted momentarily. Here's the 3-2 by Larson. And it's a walk to load the bases. Takes us to Hango, Zach Hangus for the Mavericks, the first baseman. No outs and loaded bases off of walks. Stuart Long at third gets a handshake from Hathaway. Stensrud standing at second and Thomas Martin at first now. Angus settles in after getting the signal from Hathaway. Coach Hathaway, the manager for the Mavericks, has been for 29 seasons. And this pitch comes in for ball one to Hangus. He was managing the Mavericks when I was in high school and I had a conversation the first year that we covered about my classmates that were under him and he remembered each one of them as Hangus punches this one straight up in the air. Second baseman calls for it on the fringe and we've got one out here in the bottom of the second. Second base number one, Dayton Bay. Takes us to the bottom of the order, Dayton Bay for the Mavericks, loaded bases and one out. Day, part of the Sentinel football program. Here's the bunt laid down, this one's popped up high and we'll have a foul ball for strike one. So Bay settles back in, 0-1 on the count. Pitches upstairs, he'll throw down the first baseline and Martin is back just ahead of the ball. And we'll get ball one, one and one on the count. Bottom of the second, one out. Here's the one and one and it's off. to bring up ball two. Larson battling through the inning. He's at 43 pitches here in the bottom of the second. 22 over the plate. Here's the pitch by Larson. And a foul ball hopped right at us. Brings up strike two to Dayton Bay. Bay has been the butt baster for the Mavericks this year. Here's the pitch, and we go two and two for three and two. Right, 
the payoff pitch. And Bay is walked. That will bring home the Mavericks runner, Stuart Long, and the Mavericks get on the board. Off a loaded bases walk to make it 2-1 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. We come to the top of the order. Brendan Hill for the Mavericks with loaded bases and one out. Here's the pitch by Larson. And Hill will crack this one foul right at Hathaway. Four strike one. Hill with a double to start the game. Here's Larson with the pitch. And it's just off the plate. Ball one, one and one. Hill for the Mavericks has been leading off for the past three weeks and Wilcox calls time and they're going to have a bulk which will bring home a run. Here comes Hust out, Hughes to Welsh will call him off and say no more. And Welsh will send the runners back to second and third. Hughes continuing to discuss it with Welsh and Welsh with the last word as Hughes goes back to the dugout. So the ball called off. We stay at one and one on the cow with one out. Loaded base is Brendan Hill at the plate. For Hill. He'll take the pitch for ball two, two and one. A crack foul out of reach of the first baseman and will be two and two on the count. But for Hill on the season. Hundred and fifty three at bats, twenty five runs off of thirty four hits, twenty seven RBIs, and it's a strikeout. Number seven in Frazier. Help yourself, kid. Two away with loaded bases now. Dane Frazier at the plate now with loaded bases, and Frazier will take the first pitch for ball one. Here's the pitch by Larson, and Frazier will send this one into right field. It's going to have a hop as the right fielder will pick it up. Stensrud scores. Around is Martin, and a, a single will score two runs. The Mavericks will take the lead, 3-2. Number 13, Brad Richardson. We come to Trad Richardson for the Mavericks. With two outs and runners on the corners. And now the Scarlets will send a arm down to the bullpen on the third baseline to warm up. And an inside pitch on Richardson will bring up ball one. For Trad Richardson, it was a sack fly <laughs> that advanced Hill from second to third in the top of the first. And Larson delivers High and outside for ball two, two and zero. Oh. Larson at 56 pitches here in the bottom of the second. 28 over the plate. Here's the 2-0, oh, and we'll get ball three. So 
So the Scarlets with an arm in the bullpen. Mavericks with two outs, runners on the corners, and Richardson will take the pitch to make it 3-1 on the count. Dayton Bay at third. And Frazier at first. And a walk to reload the bases for the Mavericks. All right, Bridger, pick one out. We come to the birthday boy, Bridger Johnson, now for the Mavericks. And that will send Wilcox out to check in with Larson. Johnson's going to go ahead and take the opportunity to speak with his coach. Wilcox back behind the plate. Johnson settles back in. Loaded bases for the Mavericks. Two outs, bottom of the second. And this one's taken right over second base. Hops into center field. They'll score a bay. Frazier grabs a gear, and Dane Frazier will score. Runners back on the corners for the Mavericks with two runs earned. And that'll bring out Houston. And we'll have the change on the mound. It looks like it's going to be a change. We'll step aside. Mavericks take the lead 5 2. We'll be back right after this with a new pitcher for the Scarlets. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Limburg for Craig Field. The pitch, pitching change has occurred. Jackson Schauble now stands on the five Valley Hour pitchers mound. Andy Larson moves to third, or I mean to first for the Scarlets, and Kimmett moves from first to right field. That is your defensive changes. Schauble on the mound, Larson at first, and Kimmett in right field. The first batter that... Shabo will face is Stuart Long. Runners at first and second for the Mavericks. Two outs. Mavericks lead 5-2 to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Long looks down the line half the way. Standing at third with his hands on his hips. Here's the first pitch to Long and it'll be inside for ball one. Stuart Long was walked his first at bat on the evening. Two games tonight for the Mavericks. Second one will be coming up about 20 minutes after this one finishes up. Here is a bouncing ball picked up by the pitcher. Throw to first, and that will end the inning. The Mavericks with five runs, two hits, and runners left behind. It's now 5-2 Mavericks. Top of the third right after this on the Missoula Cup Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. 
Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hello, folks. Chris Stratton here. You know me as the voice of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. I'm here to announce that the Milk Crate Media will be launching their newest project, the Chris Stratton Show podcast. That's right, folks. We're going to take our play-by-play -play coverage and bring it into the studio to give our student athletes in Missoula a voice to tell their stories. It'll be launching on July 15th on the Milk Crate Media Network, and you'll be able to find it at thechrisstrattonshow.com as well as any of your outlets for podcasts. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the third inning, Mavericks lead 5-2 to two on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Dane Frazier back on the five. Valley Pitcher's Mound for the Mavericks. For the Scarlets, it is the top of the order. Christian Michelson to lead off. Brooks Rohrer in the on-deck circle. And Andy Larson is in the hole. So... Michelson steps to the plate four, for the Scarlets, second time on the game. <laughs> Frazier now, foot on the rubber. First pitch of the inning on its way, and it's swung on for strike one. For Michelson, it was a single, his first at-bat. As this one's bounced out, Long will take it on the bounce, and Long will knock it down. The runner's going to reach. And I imagine they are going to call that one an error. Number seven, Brooke As we go to Brooke Rohr. So we come to the second baseman. With one on and no outs, here's the pitch by Frazier, and he'll toss it over the plate for strike one. For Rohr, hit by a pitch, his first at bat. Frazier now with the pitch. And this one's lifted into center field. Hill will come up, it's on the hop, and runners at first and second for the Scarlets. Takes us to Andy Larson, who is at first base now. First base number 18, Andy Larson. Runners at first and second, no outs, top of the third. This is how the first inning started out for the Scarlets. And a foul ball. We'll bring up strike one. To Larson. Larson with a ground out, his first at bat. Here's the stretch and set by Frazier. And a pitch outside brings up ball one, one and one. Glenn Walshar played umpire for the first game. Seth Kitchens in the field. Here's the Frazier pitch. And Larson will send this one to the center field. Hill will put it in the glove. The line drive will be the first out of the inning for the Scarlets. Brings up Colby Kimmett now for the Scarlets with runners at first and second and a one out. Frazier gets a signal from Richardson. Richardson behind the plate for game one. And a bouncer picked up by Long. The throw to second, down the line to first. Hangus is there, and that will turn the double play. And the Mavericks will handle the Scarlets in the top of the third. We'll be back with the Mavericks turn to bat 
right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Did your computer go down? Don't worry. Mike's Print and Copy has computer rentals available until you can get your computer replaced. In addition to computer rentals, Mike's has self-serve copiers so you can take care of your printing needs at your time. Do you have large-scale printing that needs to be done? From high-tech blueprints to large quantities, Mike's Print and Copy is your print store. Stop in and say hi to Mike at their new location at 1605 South Avenue West in Missoula. Mike's Print and Copy, proud sponsors of the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the third inning, the Mavericks lead 5-2 to two on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Jackson Schauble in on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound for the Scarlets. For the Mavericks, it is the six, seven, eight batters scheduled on the inning. Drew Stenzer to lead off. Thomas Martin is on deck. And Zach Hangus in the hole. So Stenzer to lead off for the Mavericks. Here's the first pitch of the inning. And it's brought up for strike one. Stenzerud walked his first at bat. He's been a versatile infielder for the Mavericks this year, playing at both first and third. A swing brings up Strike two. 0 oh and 2. And this one will tag Stensrud in the legs, putting a batter at first for the Mavericks to lead off the inning. Brings up Thomas Martin now. Number 8, Thomas Martin. With one on and no outs, bottom of the third. Here's the pitch, and a swing by Martin will bring up strike one. And for Stenzer, that was his 10th hit by pitch on the season. Ties him with Brendan Hill, Stuart Long, and Dayton Bay as we have the bunt laid down, the throw to first. Sack bunt advances the runner to second, and there's one out. So with one out, Stensrud at second, we get Zach Hangus, the first baseman at the plate. And the first pitch is upstairs for ball one. And Hangus really making, taking a change in his approach at the plate. As this pitch gets away from Wilcox advancing Stensrud on the wild pitch to go two and oh. And we go 2-0 and to Hangus, but going into the trip to Rapid City, even before that in Billings, uh, you could see the change at the tournament here the week before going to Billings, the weekend before. But uh, he was starting to rise up there on his strikeout counts, and his strikeout numbers, I should say. And he really has become patient at the plate, and... That number has really changed since then. This one's lifted just off the glove of the shortstop. Stensrud will come home, and Hangus will have himself an RBI. Number one, Dayton Bay. 
making it six to two on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. So we come to the bottom of the order for the Mavericks. Dayton Bay with one out, one on. And an inside pitch brings up a ball one for Bay. It was a walk. His first at bat. Here's the pitch by Schauble. And we'll go 2-0 and on the count. Dayton Bay has really embraced his spot in the order. And the Mavericks, you know, in Rapid City, in that billing stint from, from Billings until Rapid City, through that whole stint, as this one's popped up high over second, and the second baseman will have it in the glove. And that'll be two away. But in, in that trip, that eight-day stint there for the Mavericks, the bottom of the order, the five through nine batters, had RBIs driving in the top of the order for the Mavericks for runs. Here's Hangus on the go. He's going to go ahead and try to get the steal, and Hangus slides into second. The stolen base for Zach Hangus. And Brendan Hill at the plate. We'll have ball one. So Hangus with the steal. Here's the pitch inside to Hill. And we get ball two, two and O. Oh. Brendan Hill a double and struck out looking his last at bat. Here's the 2-0. Hill showing bunt, brings up ball three. Jackson Schauble on the five validator pitcher's mound will deliver the 3-0 and it brings up strike one, three and one on the count. Zach Hangus at second. Off the steal, two outs. Mavericks with one runner earned in the bottom of the third to make it six to two. Dane Frazier in the on-deck circle as this one's gonna beam off of Hill. And the Mavericks will have runners at first and second as Dane Frazier comes to the plate. Frazier looks down the line, Hathaway with his hands on his hips, so Frazier will step in with runners at first and second and two outs. <laughs> Here's the pitch. And Hill, or I mean Frazier, will take the first pitch for strike one. <clears throat> for Frazier, struck out looking his first at bat in a single. Shobble now with the pitch. And it'll come inside for ball one. One and one on the count. Shobble coming in for Larson early in the bottom of the second. In his inning, well, in the full inning since he came in with two outs in that third, second inning, as this one's upstairs for ball two, two and one with two outs here. He's at 21 pitches, nine of them over the plate. Sit back, kid. And this is the thing that teams are going to run into with the Mavericks is who's got the arms as Frazier's going to blast this one foul to bring us to two and two on the count. Win the battle, but who has the arms to keep up with the Mavericks as we, as the Mavericks are offensively in a groove, but defensively from the mound 
the Mavericks have a pitching staff that can take them deep. So, you know, there might be the possibility that one team could hold on to one of their top pitchers for the possibility to face the Mavericks later on as Shabo will step off the rubber. But who is that? One of those teams that is making some noise is the Lethbridge Elks. And, well, they picked up some players from that Vauxhall team as Frazier has this one foul to stay at two and two. But the Lethbridge is one team that definitely does have the ability to have somebody there in the pitching staff to face off against the Mavericks when we get late into the tournament. Here's the two and two. Brings up ball three, runners will advance. And we go full on the count. So with runners at second and third, two outs, Dane Frazier faces the payoff pitch by Schauble, and it's going to be a strikeout for the second out to, for the second time tonight. So the Mavericks earn one run. They leave runners behind, and it's 6-2 to two on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. We'll be back with the top of the fourth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. When your workout window is small, you don't want to travel far, wait for parking, and hope for an open machine. Let Fuel Fitness and Nutrition ignite your life with no waiting. Fuel has plentiful parking and 30,000 square feet of weight and cardio training equipment. When you want it, you'll get it at Fuel. Businesses don't hesitate to sign up with Fuel. We have enough parking and equipment to handle your entire staff and 24-7 access so they can get in shape around work schedules. Ignite your life with no waiting at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition in the Holiday Village Shopping Center. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. Mavericks lead 6-2 to two on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Dane Frazier standing on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound for his fourth inning, or third inning, fourth inning of duty as we're at the top of the fourth. For the Scarlets, it is the five, six, seven batters. Jaron Wilcox to lead off. For... The Scarlets. With Zaski out. And that puts Shabel in his place. So Shabel is on deck. Number 24, Karen Wilcox. So Wilcox comes to the plate. Dane Frazier stands on the rubber. Top of four. Frazier now with the first pitch of the inning. And it'll be swung on for strike one. For Wilcox, it was a reach off of an air for the Scarlets. His first at bat. He's going to bounce this one out. Long will have it on the hop, and Long will have it go between his legs. The runner will reach. And they are going to call that one an error on the Mavericks. The pitcher number 11, Jackson Schauble. We come to Jackson Schauble now with one on and no outs. Schauble's first at bat of the game. Coming in to replace Larson on the pitcher's mount. First pitch to Schauble will be a ball by Frazier. For Dane Frazier, he's in the top of the fourth inning, 36 pitches, 28 of them over the plate. 
As this one's upstairs to bring up ball two, two and oh. Frazier now with the pitch. And brings up ball three, three and oh. Glenn Walsh, our plate umpire, Seth Kitchens in the field for this game. Second game coming up about 20 minutes after this one finishes up. We're an hour and three minutes in as this one's over the plate for strike one, three and one on the count. Hour and three minutes at the top of the fourth. We had an hour and 45 minute rain delay last night as it's a walk to put runners at first and second with no outs on the board in the top of the fourth. Number 15, Gaines Brings in Caden Dowler. Dowler settling into the box. Here's the pitch, and Dowler will lay the bunt down, picked up by Frazier. The throw to first, and the sack bunt advances runners to second and third to put one out on the board. Number three, Logan Meyer. That'll take us to Logan Meyer for the Scarlets with one out, runners at second and third. Mavericks lead 6-2 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Six runs off of four hits. There has been three errors committed by the Mavericks. As this one's bounced foul. And we'll get strike one. Against Meyer. Meyer with a ground out his first at bat. Steps in with an opportunity here with runners at second and third and one out. Here's the pitch. Nope, Frazier's going to step off the rubber. Runners will step back to their bases. Bottom of the order in the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. One out. Here's the 0-1. And it'll be over the plate. Strike two. Shobble at second, Wilcox at third. Here's the 0-2, and it's going to be bounced down to Stensrud. Stensrud checks the runner at third. The throw to nice first boy, is the second out of the inning. Number 13, Nate Dewar. So two away with runners at second and third with the bottom of the order at the plate, Nate Dewar, for the Scarlets. Frazier with the stretch and set. And a swing will bring up strike one. So Dane Frazier, a 6'2", 190-pound right-handed pitcher for the Mavericks, a graduate of Sentinel High School in 2019. Pitcher, first baseman, and has a foul ball. We'll bring up strike two. 0-2 oh on the count, two outs. Runners at second and third. And Frazier in the early part of the season did spend some time behind the plate at the catcher position. Having some fun while he's playing his senior season. A swing and Richardson will drop it, the throw down the line, Hanga sticks the bag, and that will be the final out of the inning. 
Mavericks hold off, leaving runners at second and third. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Some changes in life are too painful to go through alone, and Cunningham Law can help in making difficult decisions from divorce to child custody. Kyle Cunningham focuses solely on family law. Cunningham Law will help you land on your feet when big changes come to your family and life. Visit www.familylawmontana.com or give Kyle a call at 406-203-4678 today. Cunningham Law Services. You don't have to go through this alone. Cunningham Law is a proud sponsor of the Northwest Regional Tournament. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the fourth inning, Mavericks lead 6-2 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Billing Scarlets, Missoula Mavericks doubleheader. Mavericks and Scarlets with a three-game stand. Mavericks getting the win last night in a late rain delay game. I think I was out of here at 11 last night. Now it's the second game, the third game coming up about 20 minutes after this one finishes up. For the Mavericks, it is the three, four, five batters. Trad Richardson leading off. Bridget Johnson on deck, and Stuart Long is in the hole. Jackson Schauble on the five validator pitcher's mound. For the Scarlets, and he'll toss in strike one. Two. Richardson, Richardson, a sack fly and a walk in the game. And he'll crank this one into center field. Michelson's back, puts it in the glove, and that's the first out of the inning. Number 10, Bridger Johnson. We come to Bridger Johnson now for the Mavericks. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch by Schauble. And Johnson will take a swing. This one's into right field. Looks like it's playable. Right fielder comes up. And Kimmett will have the second out on the pop fly. Number two, two away for the Mavericks in the bottom of the fourth as we come to Stuart Long. Long settling in, a walk and a ground out on his night. He'll take the first pitch and it'll be strike one. So with Long at the plate, that puts Drew Stensrud on deck with two outs. And Wilcox not able to keep it in the glove for ball one. One and one on the count. Shovel coming in in the second for Larson as this one's fouled off to bring up strike two, one and two on the count. He's got 31 pitches under his belt, 17 of them over the plate. Here's the pitch and it's inside. Brings up ball two, two and two on the count. Pitch on the way, and we'll get a full count. Three and two. Here's the pitch by Shabal, and it's upstairs. Long will be walked to put the first runner on for the Mavericks on the inning. Number five, Drew Stensrud. And we come to Drew Stensrud now. Stensrud, 
settles in, Long steps away from first, and a throw to first, forcing Long to dive back in. Here's the stretch and set by Shabel. He'll look over his right shoulder at Stensrud. I mean at Long as this one's fouled back to bring up strike one. 0-1-1, oh two outs. Stensrud a walk and a hit by pitch to find himself on base tonight. Here's the stretch and set and a throw back to first to Hold long over there. Shabble keeping an eye on Stuart Long. And a pitch coming in for ball one, one and one. Stensrud sends this one off. Foul. We're one and two on the count. So it looks like this was updated as of today. As far as the standings go, the Mavericks at the top, 10 and one in double A. Bozeman Bucks are 12 and four as this one is in front of Wilcox to take us two and two on the count. Lethbridge Elks are 10 and 5, as we'll get a full count on that pitch to make it 3 and 2. So the Mavericks at 10 and 1 at the top. Bozeman 12 and 4 in number 2. 10 and 5 for the Elks. The Kalispell Lakers are now in the number 4 spot at 10 and 9. They're going to send long, and it's a walk. So with two outs, the Mavericks will have runners at first and second as we get Thomas Martin. From there, the Helena Senators, who the Mavericks are going to face tomorrow night, 7 and 9. The Scarlets are 7 and 10. The Royals, 6 and 9. Chargers are 4 and 10. And the Monarchs are 3 and 12. This one's just across the elbow, and they're going to say that did hit Martin, and the bases will be loaded for the Mavericks off the hit by pitch. Number 11, Zach Hangus. We'll go to the first baseman, Zach Hangus, for the Mavericks with two outs and loaded bases. Martin at first, Stensrud at second, and Long at third. Here's Shovel with the pitch, and it'll be over the plate for strike one. Two outs on the board. For Hangus, a fly out and a single. On the game. And the gate is open now down the third base line as Hangus will lift this one into center field. It's going to drop right into the glove of Michelson and end the side. So the Mavericks are held off with loaded bases. And it will be the top of the fifth right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A tournaments July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN. Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournament. Warning! Warning! Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash are at it again. They've taken what was already the best wash in town, the best value in town, and made it even better. Now, whenever you gas up your rig at Fast Trip Conoco, you can clean it up for half price. Yeah, you heard that right. When you fuel up your car at Fast Trip Conoco, you can get any wash at Magic Touch Car Wash for half price. Warning! Warning! This is not a drill. It's the Gas It Up, Clean It Up special at Fast Trip Conoco and Magic Touch Car Wash on reserve across from Larchmont. Half price wash only valid when purchased at the pump or in Fast Trip Conoco. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We've got changes defensively for the Mavericks as Trad Richardson's going to move to the shortstop position. 
Stuart Long is out, and then at the catcher position, that'll bring in Andrew Claussen for the Mavericks. Top of the fifth inning, defensive changes for the Mavericks. Dane Frazier stay, remains on the five Valley Auto pitcher's mound, and it's the top of the order for the Scarlets, Christian Michelson to lead off the inning. So Michelson, Rohrer in the on-deck circle, and Larson in the hole. Lar here is Frazier with the first pitch of the inning, and he'll send it over the plate for strike one. Outside pitch, one and one. For Michelson, it's a single and reached off an error his last at bat. Here's the pitch. And a swing will bring up strike two. And a foul ball will keep Michelson going at one and two. So Jane or er, Dane delivers outside to even us out at two apiece. Playing with both the double A and the A. As this one swung on, and Frazier will have the first out on the strikeout. We come to Brooks Rur with one out, nobody on. Frazier now settling in on the rubber. A foul ball will bring up strike one to Rur. For Rohr, it was a hit by pitch and a single. Here's the 0-1 and it's gonna tag the batter. And a hit by pitch will put a runner on for the Scarlets with one out. Brings up Andy Larson, the first baseman for the Scarlets. Mavericks lead six to two on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard top of the fifth inning. So Frazier with the Mavericks, the double A level. This is his third season, one season with the A level. And Larson lifts this one into right field. That'll bring up Thomas Martin. It'll hop right in front of Martin and there'll be runners at first and second for the Scarlets. We come to the right fielder, Colby Kimmett, now with one out and runners at first and second for the Scarlets. Kimmett moving from first to right field when the change was made at the pitching position for the Scarlets. Foul ball up over the netting. Brings up strike one, 0 and 1. For Kimmett, a line drive and a fielder's choice, his first two at bats. And Claussen checking in with Frazier. Runner at first is Larson. Rohr is at second. One out on the board. Here's the 0-1 by Frazier. And it'll bring up ball one, one and one. <clears throat> but Frazier, a true Montana boy, hunting and fishing are his hobbies. Favorite memory with dad playing baseball doesn't really matter and a swing will bring up strike two 
on Kimmet. Superhero is Flash, so that would make Brendan Hill his superhero because Hill is the Flash when he gets on the bases. A bouncing ball. Stensward will pick it up, throw to first, and it's two away. Runners at second and third. Nice play by Stensrud to advance to jump on the ball. Number 24, Jaron Wilcox. And with two outs, we go to the catcher, Jaron Wilcox. So Frazier back on the rubber, two outs, runners at second and third. Wilcox settles in, and Frazier will deliver. Low pitch for ball one. Dane Frazier here in the fifth. 61 total pitches. 45 over the plate. Hathaway sticking with his pitcher here as this one's lifted into left field and Bridger Johnson will have his first work of the day and this one is actually going to go over the wall. Jaron Wilcox will knock one over the wall for a home run for the Scarlets. And it's now 6-5 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Number 11, Jackson Double. With two outs, we come to Jackson Schauble, the pitcher. And the Scarlets have made it a game off of one swing of the bat. For Frazier, that is his fourth home run he has allowed this season. As the first pitch is on its way, and it'll be strike one. Jackson Schauble walked his last at bat. Frazier delivers over the plate for strike two, 0 oh and 2. Frazier would have two home runs against him in that game against Post 22 last Tuesday night. And a swing to strike out the batter to end the inning. So three runs earned off of a home run, and it's now 6 5. Mavericks get to bat, bottom of the fifth. Right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Did your computer go down? Don't worry. Mike's Print and Copy has computer rentals available until you can get your computer replaced. In addition to computer rentals, Mike's has self-serve copiers so you can take care of your printing needs at your time. Do you have large-scale printing that needs to be done? From high-tech blueprints to large quantities, Mike's Print and Copy is your print store. Stop in and say hi to Mike at their new location at 1605 South Avenue West in Missoula. Mike's Print and Copy, proud sponsors of the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. As the Billing Scarlets have made it a game, it's 6-5 Mavericks on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. For the Mavericks, it's the bottom of the order to lead off, Dayton Bay. And then we swing to the top, Brendan Hill on deck and Dane Frazier in the hole. Jackson Schauble on the five Valley Over Pitchers mound for the Scarlets. Here's the first pitch of the inning, and Schauble will deliver over the plate for strike one. For Dayton Bay, a walk and a fly out on the game. Mavericks will have the second game of the doubleheader about 20 minutes after this one finishes up. This one's punched up high down the first baseline. Larson calls everybody off, and it's in the glove. Number three, Brendan Hill. 
for the first out of the inning. We swing to the top of the order for the Mavericks now. Brendan Hill with one out, nobody on. Hill looking down the third baseline to Hathaway for a call, but no signal. Here's the pitch, and Hill will swing for strike one. For Brennan Hill, a double, a strikeout, and a hit by pitch. And that will bring up ball one, one and one on the count to Hill. Hill will bounce this one down the third baseline. It will be foul and we'll go one and two on the count. In there, Brendan. Hill settles back in, one out, nobody on. Dane Frazier in the on deck circle. Bottom of the fifth and a pitch outside will take us even at two apiece on the count. It's the Mavericks. The second game of the doubleheader right after this one, about 20, 25 minutes. And then the Mavericks go back on the road tomorrow night. They are in Helena as this one will tag Hill. And that one's right on the not-so-funny bone. Number seven, Dane Frazier. And Hill will stand at first with Dane Frazier at the plate. <clears throat> So the Mavericks back on the road tomorrow night against Helena. First pitch is at 5 p.m. They'll have a day off on Thursday and then it's a road trip to Great Falls. Single game on Friday night at seven and then a double header. Hill's gonna go ahead and take the base. The throw to second is made and Brennan Hill will have a stolen base. And we'll have ball one to Frazier. So Frazier now settling back in. He's got a single his second at bat and strikeouts bookending, bookending that one as he's going to take this one foul. And we go even on the count at one apiece to Frazier. So... Three games in Great Falls, Friday and Saturday. Sunday will be a day off, and then the Mavericks host Medicine Hat. Monday and Tuesday of next week. Hill's going to take third, and this one's in the dirt. Wilcox not able to get to it. And Brendan Hill, the flash, will be standing at third. Two and one on the count. One out. And our plate umpire, Glenn Welsh, will take a moment before he he's showing Wilcox something on his arm there. Battle scars, I'm sure, from the general. Shabble settles in in the pitch. Frazier sends this one into the gap. It's got some leg on it. Center fielder will have it in the glove. Hill tags at third, and the Mavericks will clear the bases off the sack fly and increase their lead. Seven to five on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Number 13, Brad Richardson. And that'll bring up Trad Richardson for the Mavericks. with two outs and nobody on. Outside pitch will bring up ball one for Richardson. Trad, a sack fly, a walk, and a fly out on his three at-bats in the first game tonight. He'll swing on that pitch, one and one. Here's the pitch by Schauble. And Richardson fouls it off, makes it one and two on the count. Richardson, the lone Frenchtown High School representative 
for the Mavericks this year. And, well, at the AA level, I should say. Put that little caveat in there. And he is a graduate of Frenchtown in 2019 as we get an even count at 2-2 two and two off that pitch. <coughs> Trad, one of those senior leaders for the Mavericks. Richardson down the third baseline foul. Keeps us at two and two. The on deck circle has Bridger Johnson in it. Shobble with the pitch. And that'll take us to a full count at three and two. Two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the fifth inning. Here's the pitch. And Richardson checks wings, a high foul ball, and we stay at a full count at three and two. And Frazier is walked with two outs. The Mavericks will have a runner at first, and Bridger Johnson comes to the plate. Johnson, the birthday boy, alongside Caden Jordan. Shovel now with the check on Frazier at first and the pitch. And Johnson will hop this one over the second baseman's head. Richardson is going to hop to th second, and there'll be runners at first and second with two outs for the Mavericks. The catcher number 14, Andrew Claussen. We go to Andrew Claussen now with two outs and runners at first and second. Claussen coming in and getting behind the plate. Richardson started out behind there, but Stuart Long. Or Richardson taking over for Stuart Long at shortstop. Here's the pitch by Schauble, and Lars or er, Clausen's going to send this one into right field. Kimmett is there, and that will retire the inning. The Mavericks earn one run. They'll leave two behind, and it's 7-5. Top of the six right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Folks, Chris Stratton here. You know me as the voice of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. I'm here to announce that the Milk Crate Media will be launching their newest project, the Chris Stratton Show podcast. That's right, folks. We're going to take our play-by-play -play coverage and bring it into the studio to give our student athletes in Missoula a voice to tell their stories. It'll be launching on July 15th on the Milk Crate Media Network, and you'll be able to find it at thechrisstrattonshow.com as well as any of your outlets for podcasts. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network at Lindbergh Craig Field. The Mi Missoula Mavericks hosting the Billing Scarlets on a Tuesday night doubleheader. Mavericks in game one currently lead 7-5 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Top of the sixth inning. The Scarlets will have their bottom of the order up to bat. So number seven spot batter, Caden Dooler, the shortstop. Logan Meyer in the on-deck circle, and it's Nate Duar in the hole. Number 15, Caden Neller. Dane Frazier stands on the five Valley Valley pitcher's mound, and it looks like they're going to send Parker Stevens down into the bullpen to warm up for the Mavericks. Here's the pitch by Frazier, and it's swung on for strike one. Frazier delivers inside. 
backing the batter off the plate. Goes even on the count at one apiece. For Dooler, a strikeout and a sack bunt on the game. As this one's fouled towards Hoost down the third base line. And will be one and two on the count. Here's the pitch by Frazier. And that'll take us even at two apiece. Breeze coming in. What a difference 24 hours makes. Last night everybody was bundled up like it was one of the first games of the year. Tonight it is hot. Foul ball keeps us at two and two. And we've had some abnormally wet weather for July and June this year. Here's Frazier with the pitch, and we'll go full at three and two. For Dane Frazier, 71 pitches in, 52 over the plate. Here in the top of the sixth. A bouncer. Richardson not able to get to it. It'll roll into left field, and a runner will stand at first to start the inning for the Scarlets. Number three, Logan Meyer. Brings up Logan Meyer now, the left fielder, with one on and no outs. Scarlets making it a one run game in the top of the fifth with a Home run by Larson that earned three runs. Hill, I mean, Frazier will deliver over the plate for strike one to Meyer. Meyer, a pair of ground outs on the game. Throw to first. So Parker Stevens in the bullpen warming up for the Mavericks. Dane Frazier right under that 80 pitch count, and that might be what they were doing. Stensford cannot get to the ball. This one's into left field. And Bridger Johnson will have back-to-back -back balls sent his way. And the Scarlets will have runners at first and second with no outs. Bottom of the order. Nate Dewar. for the Scarlets. And that's what they did last night with Chalmers is when he got to that 80 pitch mark. And they did pull him out. And that might be what they do with Frazier too. Keep him below 80 and that does make a difference on pitch counts. Showing bunt, outside pitch, ball one to Dewar. Dewar, a ground out, and then was out on a dropped third strike, his second at bat. Frazier now with the pitch, showing bunt, backing off, brings up ball two. And here comes Hathaway. And it's right at that, and that's uh, Parker Stevens coming out. So the Mavericks will make the change mid-batter on Frazier to keep him under the 80 pitches. We'll step aside while Parker Stevens warms up on the five Valley Auto pitchers mound. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. 
If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Prep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Limburg Craig Field. The change on the mound. Parker Stevens for Dane Frazier. Frazier will move to right field, and Thomas Martin will be done. So Stevens on the mound. Frazier in right field, and Thomas Martin is out. Glenn Welsh, our plate umpire, with a few words to Stevens before we start. He will have Nate Dewar. In the box with a 2-0 count to start out with. Runners at first and second. No outs for the Scarlets in the top of the six. Mavericks lead 7-5 on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. <clears throat> so Dewar steps back in and Parker Stevens will have his first pitch of the game. Showing bunt, laid down, foul ball. Brings up strike one. Two and one on the count. Mavericks with two runs. I mean, I apologize. The Scarlets with two runs in the first and then picked up three in the top of the fifth for their five runs off of six hits. For the Mavericks, it would be five runs in the second, one in the third, and one in the fifth for their seven runs off of five hits. Here's Stevens with the pitch, and the bunt laid down this time is foul, and we go two and two on the count. No outs, runners at first and second for the Scarlets. And sirens in the background, that is actually, looks like one of the Forest Service trucks. We did have smoke up above Blue Mountain in the backdrop. Not quite sure if that's in your view. Here's the throw to second and it's gonna be off. Richardson can't get to it, Hill. And it'll be Richardson to get it, the throw to second and the error will bring runners to second and third. So runners at second and third, two and two on the count. Mavericks tack on their fourth error. That will have that single will advance a runner, and it's now a one-run game for the Scarlets. Seven, six on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. No outs and runners on the corners. Top of the order, Christian Michelson now for the Scarlets. Clausen's going to signal the field with runners on the corners. Parker Stevens with the stretch and set, and a foul ball will bring up strike one. Okay. 
So Michelson at the plate, top of the order. Brooks Rohr in the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. No outs on the board. Runners on the corners. Upstairs on the pitch by Stevens makes us even at one apiece on the count. For Michelson, a single reached off an error and then struck out swinging. His first three at-bats. Stevens back over to first. Stevens with the pitch, and it swung on for strike two. One and two. Mavericks searching for the first out of the inning with runners on the corners. One run scored so far. Runner's going to go. This one's lifted foul into the parking lot. And we'll stay at one and two on the count for Parker Stevens. He is four and three record-wise. 14 games played, nine of them starts. 5.02 on his ERA, 43 total innings. 31 hits off of 43, or 31 runs off of 43 hits, and this one's up high. Stensrud will put it in the glove, and we've got one away. Runners will stay at first and second. Number seven, Brooks Rohr. We come to Brooks Rohr now. With one out, runners on the corners. And Claussen once again to signal the field. And so taking a look back at Parker. 31 runs off of 43 hits. 24 of those have been earned. 20 walks, 28 strikeouts, 10 hit by pitches as this one's into the glove of Hill. No, they're gonna say it did not as it rolls past. One run will score. Johnson with the backup. Coming in from first is Dewar and it's now the Scarlet's lead on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Off the double by Rohr. Eight, seven Scarlets on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. We go to Andy Larson now who slapped one out of the park earlier in the game. With one out, here's Stevens with the pitch and That'll be outside for a ball. Parker with the stretch and set. And he'll bring up ball two, two and oh on the count. But Parker Stevens a 6'3", 180-pound right-handed pitcher for the Mavericks, graduate of Sentinel High School in 2019. Mavericks with a big senior class, but they have good talent to keep them going next year as well. As this one's hit, Richardson will block it in front of him. The throw to first is made, and Hangus will stretch out. It gets away from Hangus. Runner's going to advance, and they'll bring him all the way around as Richardson will dig it out, Claussen turns, and they're gonna say out at the plate. Hangus digging it out of the corner. They're gonna say an error, no hit. Number 12, Colby Kimmett. As we go to Colby Kimmett. Kimmett is going to punch this one up in the air and 
Richardson will call it in the glove, and it's three runs earned to make it 8-7 Scarlet's bottom of the six right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. MPSN is back to live stream the Montana Legion Baseball AA and State A tournaments this summer. Join us live from Billings, Montana for the State AA Tournament and Florence, Montana for the State A Tournaments, July 27th through the 31st for all the play-by-play -play action of every game. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to sponsor the coverage of the games on MPSN, please send us an email. MPSN, Legion Baseball's home for the 2019 Montana State Legion Baseball Tournaments. Hey, are you going to try out that new gym? I hear it's really cheap. Not a chance. They don't have group exercise classes with awesome instructors like we get at Fuel. And the owners are in New York City. What? New York City! Mm-hmm. The New York way is not the Montana way, so no way. Fuel Fitness and Nutrition, your Montana born and bred fitness chain. And unlike the others, we never close. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Bottom of the sixth inning. The Scarlets now lead on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard 8-7 after a three-run inning. Back-to-back three-run innings for the Scarlets. For the Mavericks, it is Drew Stensrud to lead off. Parker Stevens on deck and Zach Hengis in the hole. Jackson Schauble remains on the five Valley Auto pitchers mound here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mavericks needing a run to tie two to get ahead as this one's popped into center field and it's wrapped up by Michelson for the first out of the inning. The pitcher number 18, Parker Stevens. Takes us to Parker Stevens for the Mavericks with one out, nobody on. And Stevens has this one in play. It'll hug that third base line. It rolls deep. Stevens grabs a gear at first and is on his way to second. And Parker's first hit of the game will be a stand-up double for the Mavericks. Number 11, Zach Hengis. Brings up Zach Hengis for the Mavericks with one on and one out. And Hengis will foul this one towards Hathaway for strike one. The gate is open down the third baseline, so the Scarlets warming up an arm. Jackson Schauble at 67 pitches. He came in in the second inning and has been holding strong. 36 of those have been over the plate. Hengis reaching. This one's past the second baseman. They'll bring Stevens in to third, and the Mavericks will have runners on the corners with one out. And that will bring out Houston for the Scarlets. Whether he'll make the change right now or if this is just a preliminary visit, we'll wait for just a moment. Meanwhile, the bottom of the order for the Mavericks at the plate, Dayton Bay. And Schauble holds his hand up. Infield will come in, and it looks as though we have just a basic visit right now. Speaking of visiting, you should s check out our friends over at Fast Trip Conoco. They are your one-stop shop convenience store. Whether it's their most convenient gas pumps in town, the widest selection of coldest drinks, or the biggest freezer full of ice for your summer barbecue, stop in and see our friends at Fast Trip Conoco on South Reserve across from Larchmont Golf Course. Need to make your car look good? Well, while you're there at Fast Trip Conoco, stop in to Magic Touch Car Wash and get your car cleaned up. Fast Trip Conoco, a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network, and it looks as though we will have the change on the mound. So Shabal is done, new pitcher is in. We'll have those changes for you right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you have a property you'd like to sell? Maybe you're looking for a new place to call your own. 
Well, you're in luck because the Kelly Touch is the local realtor for you. Whether small or large, the Kelly Touch would love to help you find your piece of Montana to call home. From Kalispell to Florence, the Kelly Touch has the experience to help you buy or sell property throughout western Montana. The Kelly Touch, your professional real estate needs met. The Kelly Touch is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. If you're looking to upgrade your car, stop by Five Valley Auto Sales. From the moment you walk through the door, you'll be in for the best car buying experience ever. From their large inventory to their experienced staff, Five Valley Auto Sales is committed to helping you find the right car for you. View their featured vehicles online at www.5valleyautosales.com or stop by their location at 3300 South Reserve Street in Missoula. Five Valley Auto Sales is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on MPSN. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn and Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 60 years. Give Tip Coburn and Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn and Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPS and Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. It is the bottom of the sixth inning. Mavericks with a runner at first and a runner at third. One out on the board. Dayton Bay at the plate. The Scarlets have made a change. Ethan Clark now stands on the five Valley Auto Pitchers mound. And Jackson Schauble is done. Here's the first pitch by Clark. And... Down the line, Stevens will have to dive back in the bag. It's going to get away. Parker Stevens down the line. Hangus advances to second, and the error will tie the game for the Mavericks. Pitch thrown in was a ball. So Hangus at second now, game tied at eight apiece. Dayton Bay will receive strike one, so one and one on the count to Bay. One out, Hangus at second. And in the first error of the game, charged to the Scarlets as Bay will take the pitch for ball two, two and one on the count. Here's the stretch and set. And we'll get ball three, three and one on the count. Ethan Clark coming in for the Scarlets. Mavericks tying it up off the air. And a foul ball into the dugout on the third baseline. Takes us to a full count at three and two. <clears throat> Parker Stevens earning the run for the Mavericks off of the air. Hangus at second. Here's the payoff pitch, and this one's lifted over the second baseman's head. Right fielder dives on it, not able to put it in the glove. Hangus grabs a gear at third. He's on his way home, and Zach Hangus will have the lead back for the Mavericks. Off the single by Dayton Bay. Number three, Brendan Hill. And grab the air for Hangus. He'll need it. Back to the top of the order for the Mavericks, Brendan Hill. One out and the lead retaken 9-8 on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. And a roller right at Clark. He'll have the throw to second down the line to first, and it is not in time as the flash will make it to first off the fielder's choice. Number seven, Dane Frazier. Hey, 
We come to Dane Frazier now for the Mavericks. With two outs. And Brendan Hill at first. And we've got an arm up in the bullpen for the Mavericks now. Here's Frazier with a pop down the first base line. Larson's trying to get there. Second baseman will come in. It'll be a foul ball. Strike one, 0 1 1. Drive through it, son. Find a hole. Find a way. And I believe that's Trad Richardson down throwing for the Mavericks. He is next up in the order with Dane Frazier at the plate. Two outs. Hill at first. Last time Hill was on, he had two stolen bases. And we'll get ball one, one and one on the count. And now Richardson jogs back to the dugout out of the bullpen. Stretch and set by Clark, the throw to first, and Hill dives back in. Frazier settling back in, Frazier. Strikeout a single, a strikeout, and a sack fly on the game. And this one's upstairs. Brings us to ball two. Two and one on the count. Richardson in the on-deck circle with two outs. Hill at first. Mavericks with two runs to retake the lead, 9-8. Here's the pitch. Outside, brings up ball three. Frazier takes a moment. Settling back in. Here's Clark with the three and one. Hill's gonna go, and it'll be a walk for Frazier. Put runners at first and second. Number 13, Brad Richardson. Trad Richardson at the plate now. Two outs, runners at first and second. And Richardson's going to send this one into the gap. This one's going to come down. Hills around the corner. Frazier grabs a the gear. They'll send Frazier as the throw is made. And the Mavericks will earn... Two runs yeah. off of the double by Trad Richardson. Number 10, Bridger Johnson. Brings up Bridger Johnson now for the Mavericks with two outs. And Trad Richardson standing at second. Johnson settling in. Outside pitch brings up ball one. Clark with the stretch and set. Here's the one and oh. Brings to ball two. Johnson. A strikeout, a single, a flyout, and a single on the game. Here's the 2 0. Brings up ball three. And we'll build to a walk for Bridger Johnson. So the Mavericks will have runners at first and second with Andrew Claussen coming to the plate. Number 14, Andrew Claussen. Two outs. 
three runs or four runs earned so far for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the six to take an 11 to eight lead on the fast trip Conoco scoreboard. Upstairs brings up ball one for Claussen. It's his second at bat. First one was a fly out and a foul ball. Brings up strike one, one and one on the count. Bridger Johnson at first, Trad Richardson at second. Two outs. Here's Clark with the one and one. And we'll have strike two. Clark leans in to get the pitch from Wilcox and now the stretch and set. And it gets away advancing the batters and will be even on the count at two apiece. Two and two. And Wilcox will deliver right out to Clark. Two and two on the count. Two outs, runners at second and third now. Here's the pitch by Clark. And Claussen will take a slice for a foul ball and we stay at two and two. Mavericks battling back, retaking the lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's the 2-2, and Claussen will be struck out, swinging to finish out the inning. The Mavericks, four runs, they leave two behind, and it's now 11-8 Mavericks on the Fast Trip Conoco scoreboard. Final frame coming up right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Coming this summer, Milk Crate Media 406 will be the home to a new group of local podcasts to highlight our great state of Montana and the people within it starting with a local show to promote Missoula sports athletes. Next, a podcast that will take a look at world views. Then a show that will entertain you while informing you about Montana's great outdoors. And finally, a podcast that will take a look at the people and places that make Montana great. Stop by mcratemedia.com to see the full line of new podcasts. Have you recently found yourself in a situation where you need a lawyer? Give our friends at Tip Coburn & Associates a call today. They have been practicing injury, employment, and criminal defense in addition to other areas of law for the past 55 years. Give Tip Coburn & Associates a call today at 406-549-5186 or stop by their website at www.tipcoburnandassociates.com. Tip Coburn & Associates, lawyers fighting for Montana since 1959 and proud sponsors of Missoula Pep Sports on MPSN. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Top of the seventh inning, all or nothing for the Scarlets as the Mavericks reclaim the lead 11-8 in the bottom of the sixth inning off of four runs. So Parker Stevens will continue his duty on the five Valley Auto pitchers mound. And for the Scarlets, it'll be the five, six, seven batters. Jaron Wilcox to lead off the inning. Ethan Clark is on deck, and Caden Dooler will be in the hole. Second game, well, that one will be scheduled about 20 minutes after this one finishes up. Number 24, Jaron Wilcox. And then it's a road trip to Helena tomorrow night for seven innings. First pitch tomorrow night is at 5 o'clock. So Wilcox Stevens with the first pitch of the inning. This one's lifted high down the third baseline. Johnson's going to try to get to it and he'll put it in the glove. Bridger Johnson hopping on his bike to ride out and pick that one off in foul territory and it'll be one away. Great effort by Bridger Johnson out there in left field. Birthday boy with the first out of the seventh inning. 
Takes us to Ethan Clark now. And Clark will take the first pitch for ball one. Pitch upstairs, brings up ball two, two and oh. Parker Stevens on the five, Valley Art pitcher's mound. Pitcher, and he does spend some time in the outfield. We've seen him both in right and left field this year. As this one's lifted into center field, Hill with one step, puts it in the glove, and there's two away in the top of the seventh. Good job, Parker. Number 15, Caden Dowler. We go to Caden Dowler, the shortstop for the Scarlets. Two outs, nobody on, top of seven. And the first pitch will be a ball to Dowler. Dowler struck out a sack bunt and a single on the evening as he's going to send this one. It's going to be out of Johnson's reach as that one will come down in the parking lot. And the foul ball will take us even at one on the count. <clears throat> Here's the pitch by Stevens. And he'll deliver upstairs for ball two, two and one. Logan Meyer in the on-deck circle. Ball three, three and one. Two outs, nobody on, top of seven. Stevens with the three and one. And it's a walk. To put runners, I put a runner on, I should say, Number with three, two outs. Meyer. Logan Meyer, the left fielder now for the Scarlets. With two outs. Scarlets looking for a rally. Runner's going to go. Pitch thrown was a ball. And Hangus just letting him go over there. 1 and 0. Foul ball. That's going to come down just outside here. Brings up strike one, 1 and 1. For Meyer, it's a ground out, back to back, and then a single on his three at bats. Runner's going to go. Pitch upstairs. Brings up ball two. Two outs. Here's the two and one. And this one's hit into left field. Johnson's back, and he will have it. The Mavericks will come back and take the win 11 8 over the Scarlets. 11 runs off of nine hits for the Mavericks. Five errors, though, 12 left behind. For the Scarlets, it would be eight runs off of eight hits, one error, and they would leave six behind. Mavericks will have the next game in about 20 minutes. We will check you out. Refill your water. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Well,